name is Jess and welcome to my channel. Okay guys, so for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you three new DIYs that I made. They're going to be more in like a farmhouse style. I'm gonna be using Dollar Tree items in this video, but I'm also gonna be incorporating things that I have at home already. I just hope that you like and enjoy today's video. Please, if you do, give me a big thumbs up. That really helps to support my channel. And you are more than welcome to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notified every single time that I upload a new video. Guys, remember you can follow me on my social media pages I have Instagram I have Facebook and I have Pinterest as well as my web page diybyjess.com and that's it let's get started with DIYs okay guys so for the first project I'm going to be using this 4 by 6 inches canvas from a Dollar Tree and I'm only need the wood frame so I'm going to be removing the tables and the canvas fabric From there, I'm going to create a vase with my frame using popsicle sticks. And I'm going to measure and cut the popsicle sticks to be able to stick them on my wood frame on the back side. And you can glue them well together from each other, or you can leave a small space from each one of the popsicle sticks like I did. Once you have your base ready, you're going to need four wooden dowels and I'm going to stick those on each edge of the wooden frame. To create the top part of our project, I'm going to repeat the same process using another canvas um, the same size, 4 by 6 inches, and I'm going to cut and stick popsicle sticks. My frame is brown color because I'm reusing this one from another DIY that I made. Um, you can use any size of canvas that you want to make this project. It depends on how big you want your lantern to be. Once I put all the popsicles on the wood frame, I'm going to stick four round dowels um, around of the wood frame to give it more like a finished look. Now you can stick this part on the top of the four standing round dowels and that way you're going to have like a lantern. To give it some color, I decided to use my Wervoli wax in antique color. I really want to add something to the top of my lantern and I found a napkin ring so I decided to paint this piece using my Revoli shock paint in black color or ink color and then I dried this piece using my heat tool and then I'm going to be placing that on the top of my lantern with some hot glue. Once you're finished, you can put whatever you want inside of the lantern. And I'm going to be using this teapot that I had at home from my daughter's toys. Um, she has so many more of these things, so it's okay with her. And I'm going to be painting it with my spray paint in white color. 
Dollar Tree also have some teapots similar to this one in the toy section. Once I paint it, I'm going to put a decal that I made with my Cricut that says Grow. And if you don't have a Cricut, it's okay. You can use any other sticker to recreate this project or you can use a marker and write it by hand. From there, I'm going to be hanging my teapot from the top of the lantern with a piece of ribbon and I'm going to be using hot glue. You can maybe use E6000 if you want because it's going to be stronger. And then I'm going to put a small ball with the same Buffalo Shack ribbon just to add a nice detail. This project can be like a lantern, you can add a battery candle, you can add so many things. I decided to put this teapot and on the bottom I'm going to be adding some greenery but you can also add flowers if you prefer. Once you're done, this will be the result of the first project. It is very easy to do and once the spring season is over, you can change the teapot and you can add different greenery or you can add so many things to this lantern depending on the season. For the next project, you're going to need a box. You probably had one at home and it doesn't matter the size that you have. And the first thing you should do is to cut the front part straight and the sides of the box. Once you have your box cut, you need to paint it. And for that, I'm going to be using my spray paint in metallic silver color. And I'm going to give it one coat of paint. Once it is dry, I decide to give it a galvanized look and for this I'm going to be using my paint in gray and white color. And with my brush I'm going to be applying both colors, creating spots and you can add a darker gray if you think it's necessary just to make more contrast. Once I'm done with the galvanized look, I'm going to be creating a slotted look in the box using a marker and a ruler to draw like broken straight lines. To highlight the lines and give my project like a water look, I'm going to be using a sponge and a burnt umber paint. And I'm going to be painting each one of the lines that I draw and the edges of the box. Guys, I want to put this DIY in my fridge. So I use these magnetic hooks that I get from Dollar Tree and I'm going to stick both of them on the back side of my basket and I'm also going to stick another magnet on the top of the basket just to make it stronger. I add some dark gray paint just to kill that shiny metal from the hooks. Once you're finished, you can put flowers or greenery inside of the wall basket, but you can also use these to put the mail on it or letters and this will be the result, guys. It looks super cute with a high-end looking and it was using just a cardboard box, but it's okay, nobody will notice that. For the last project, I'm going to be using this plastic piece that I found in my house. If you don't have anything similar, you can use popsicle sticks, um, you can use a frame, you can use stir sticks to create something that looks similar to this if you want. 
And the first thing I'm going to be doing is to change the color. I'm going to be using my Waverly Shock Paint in Mineral Color. And I'm going to give it two coats of paint to cover everything very well. And guys, to dry the paint, I'm going to be using my heat tool to make the process a little bit faster. And in the description box, you can find the link of this heat tool as well as my Amazon favorites. From there, I decide to create a distressed look in my piece using a brush and a little bit of my truffle paint. From there, I'm going to be using this recycled plastic container um, and I'm going to paint it with, with a black color using my Waverly shock paint. Once your vase or your container is dry, you can use maybe some burlap fabric if you have um, to place it on the bottom of the vase and I'm going to tie it with ribbon and some hot glue and you can also stick a bow on the front part just to give it a nice touch. You can stick your vase to the frame if you want, but I'm going to be using some jute cord. I'm going to stick the jute cord on my vase and then I'm going to put it on the frame and make a knot just to make sure that my vase is not going to fall down. I didn't want that my vase look like a bottle, so I'm going to be adding some jute cord on the top with hot glue. Finally, I'm going to be adding some boxwood from Walmart and some white flowers that I get from Dollar Tree from last year um, inside of the vase and you can hang these pieces on the wall. Guys, this will be the result of our last project. I love how it looks and I love the neutral colors it has. It is perfect for spring, but you can change the greenery and you can change the flowers for something else depending on the seasons. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please, if you like it, you can give me a big thumbs up. That really helps to support my channel. Leave me a comment of which project was your favorite. Subscribe to my channel and you can share this video and share some ideas and inspiration to your friends and families. Remember to follow me on my social media pages, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, as well as my webpage. And see you on my next video. Bye, guys.